We are here today at the San Jacinto Monument, and we're going to show you around. So enjoy. The San Jacinto Monument was completed in 1939 to honor the heroes of the Battle of San Jacinto and those who contributed to the independence of Texas. The monument, which is the largest war memorial in the world, stands at a whopping 570 feet and is topped by a 34-foot star symbolizing the Lone Star Republic. Determined to crush the Texas rebels, Santa Ana took command of the Mexican army that invaded Texas in 1836. His forces successfully defeated Texans at the Alamo and he personally ordered the execution of 400 prisoners after the Battle of Goliad. Sam Houston was the commander of the Texas Army that fought at the Battle of San Jacinto. After the war, he was elected president of Texas and he played a key role in the annexation of Texas by the United States in 1845. After viewing all the historic artifacts, you turn a corner and find the history of the monument itself. The construction was part of a federal relief package that put hundreds of people to work that had previously been jobless due to the Great Depression. The final exhibit that we visited is a room full of paintings and 3D models that depict how the battle was fought and how the people in this time period lived. This model shows how the first Capitol building of Texas looked. A lot of detailed work went into these models. There is an elevator that takes you up to the observation deck, but it was closed on our visit. There's also a theater that provides a history lesson on the battle. 35 minutes long and starts at the top of every hour. It's hard to grasp the enormity of this place, but it's huge. really lucky today because it just rained and it's been really hot here in Texas but today it's not so bad it's like maybe 85 degrees it's super humid because of the rain but it's a nice day it's pleasant Visitors leave coins on the headstones of fallen soldiers to let their families know that someone stopped by to pay their respects. So it's a really nice day to walk around for the heat that we've been having. It's still pretty warm and humid. But the mosquitoes, 
The rain brought out the mosquitoes. They're crazy. They're eating us alive. Yeah, they're relentless out here. But it is nice. The trees with all the shade does make a difference for Texas heat. Yeah. The mosquitoes are hungry too. Yeah. The battleship Texas, once open to the public, has been dry docked directly across from the monument. It is currently closed for repairs to the hull and will soon be moved to a new permanent home somewhere along the coast of Texas. The battleship Texas was commissioned in 1914 and fought in both World War I and World War II. Here marks the spot that Santa Anna actually surrendered to the Texas Army. So to top off our little day trip, now we're going to go to the Monument Inn for a bite to eat to have some lunch. It'll be good. The Monument Inn overlooks the Houston Ship Channel. We had to wait for ferry traffic to load so that we could make it to the restaurant. Monument Inn serves a variety of quality seafood. I have never chosen a meal here that I regret. They do offer an all-you-can-eat meal. Just know, there's no sharing or to-go boxes with this meal. Lunch was fantastic. It was really loud in there, so we couldn't film much but it was excellent. I highly, highly recommend the Monument Inn. Very 